For today's video, I'm going to be sharing tips for an eco-conscious closet. My name is Nicole and I'm not even gonna introduce myself. I do a lot of different things, but one of those things is being very passionate about living a more sustainable lifestyle. I started this journey around a year and a half ago because of my wardrobe and wanting to quit fast fashion. And I feel like some of these tips and tricks that have been very helpful for me uh, might also be helpful for someone else watching this. Without further ado, this video today is brought to you by Vivaya. It's the holiday season, as you can see, and I'm gonna be doing a little uh, holiday unboxing show and tell thing, not really sure yet, featuring one of their awesome new products, some holiday slippers. So let's start with the tips. Number one, buy vintage or secondhand. I feel like so many people, especially millennials, people my age and younger, are already doing this because newsflash, we're all poor. But this concept might be foreign to some of you if you're not comfortable with wearing other people's clothes or whatever the reason. You know, I hate to break it to you, but we need to start living in a circular society. And a big part of that is buying secondhand. So why is buying secondhand uh, the eco-conscious decision? Well, for one thing, I'm gonna be quoting some, some statistics here. Uh, according to the House of Common Environmental Audit Community, this was as of 2019, clothing production is the third biggest manufacturing industry after the automotive and technology industries. So that means they produce a lot of waste, a lot of emissions. They unfortunately can poison the land, the water. It's just not a great industry and it's slowly changing, but fast fashion is a huge contributor to that. So stores like H&M, Forever 21. And to make it worse, a lot of these fast fashion brands will greenwash and pretend like they're trying to do better or that things were made sustainably, and they really weren't. So you really gotta do your research. There are certain brands out there, mainstream brands, who are actually really trying more and, and doing better, but a lot of it is greenwashing. So you just have to do your own independent research. So if you really wanna go down this road, unfortunately, you're gonna have to boycott fast fashion and brands that sell fast fashion. So it's most of the stores in the mall or most of the popular online stores that you're gonna shop at. It's, it's, it can be a big lifestyle change, absolutely. And the convenience aspect also is taken away. Instead, support your local thrift store, vintage shops, it's much better for your local economy anyway to be shopping smaller as much as you can if that's accessible to you. And if you can't shop in store, then places like Depop or ThreadUp or other consignment type of online stores is a great option. So again, if you can, the best way is to just buy secondhand. But if for some reason you can't or you would prefer not to or I don't know, whatever reason, then maybe start by switching over to sustainable brands, which brings me to point number two, buy sustainable brands. Now I understand that this is not easily accessible for everyone. A lot of sustainable brands are expensive to say the least, but there are times you can find deals and more importantly, you're buying the quality, you're buying it knowing it's gonna last longer, you're buying it knowing that it's, not harming the planet as, or at least as much as other brands would be. The workers are being treated ethically. To me, it's worth it. You know, it's worth saving or putting aside that extra money to know that what I'm putting on my body um, was made in that way. Like any fashion brand, just do your independent research. And a good resource that I like to use is called Good On You. I will leave the link in the description. You can search different brands on their website and they will give you a rating of how well they think they're doing. So they cover the planet, people, and animals. Good On You is a great resource to keep these sustainable brands in check as well. I will say that since I started the sustainable journey, I've only either shopped at thrift shops or bought sustainable brands, except for, I will say, I will totally admit this, a pair of shoes or, um, you know, like underwear or something like that that I needed really quickly and, you know, couldn't wait to have shipped or whatever from a sustainable brand. So, which speaking of shoes actually has been one of the most challenging aspects for me because I just hate 
wearing shoes that were worn by someone else because then it doesn't mold to the imprint of your foot. And actually there a lot of health problems can be caused from that. And I know myself, I have had a lot of pain and uncomfortability when wearing someone else's shoes before that I bought thrifted or whatever. So that brings me to today's sponsor, Vavaya. They are a sustainable shoe company that recycles around six plastic water bottles for every pair of shoes, which is amazing because there's so much plastic waste in the world and they are doing something to combat that. You can check out more about them in a previous video I did when I partnered with them. I love the pair of shoes that they sent me before so much. They were so comfortable. Um, I, I wear them all the time that I happily accepted when they wanted to send me another pair. And this video's pair of shoes is a limited holiday collection that they recently put out just in time to be festive for the holiday season. So here they are. I'm probably gonna be using these around the house for most of the time. They're made where you can wear these out. You could wear these out wherever you want and be so cozy and comfy, what? But I think I'm gonna save these for my special treat when I'm working from home. So far, I've just been wearing them around the house, whether that's you know working from home in my home office, or lounging around on a nice cold winter's day, reading a good Charles Dickens Christmas book with my cat sleeping right next to me. They just really enhance the wintertime experience. I cannot highly recommend these enough. They are the best. Thank you to Vivaya for letting me feature another pair of your shoes. I am so honored. And I also actually, for their Black Friday sale, just like bought uh, two other pairs too that I love so much. You can get a pair of their shoes with my discount code. I will leave that in the description. Now, back to the list. This brings me to number three. Don't buy more than you need. <laughs> this is where kind of the less is more minimalist mindset comes into play. Don't buy an excess. Don't like, only buy what you need. I found that the more I got rid of, the more I cared about those pieces of clothing and try to take care of them more and want to make them last for years to come. And alongside that, I've found that a good hack is making sure an article of clothing I'm gonna buy could have multiple purposes. So I'm not just gonna wear it once for some event or um, it's not just gonna be one season necessarily. Now I know we can't get away with that with like winter coats and stuff. <laughs> there are certain articles of clothing, like for instance, I really like rompers and like jumper dresses and I can wear those throughout all of the seasons when paired with the right other t-shirts or sweaters. So I could have spring, summer, fall, winter. So being intentional about what pieces of clothing you're buying and how they relate to what you already have in your closet. Making sure it's gonna match. Again, making sure you can wear them in multiple different seasons. There's many different ways to do that. You just get creative with it. Number four, don't just get rid of a garment if it's been ripped or torn. Basically, we all gotta learn how to sew again, myself included. I used to as a kid, I just, I need to remember how to. For instance, one of my favorite green jumper thing that I'm always wearing, which you might have seen in previous videos, I just got it at the thrift shop and then I realized like after one wear, maybe not even that, that unfortunately there was a big hole in it. So I took it to uh, my cousin, shout out, who is an amazing seamstress and clothing designer and she sewed it right up for me. So if you have a friend, a relative, someone that can teach you, go to YouTube for a tutorial, learn how to sew, whatever, any resource you might have or someone that can do it for you that you can pay or yourself if you can learn how to do it, just fix those garments. You don't have to just donate them or throw them away once there's a rip or, or a tear. There's a lot of stuff I have in my closet currently right now that I need to, again, either take to someone or learn how to do myself that is just sitting there that I'm not getting rid of yet because it's like a personal challenge to myself to fix it. Fix it. Number four. Number five. What to do when you're absolutely done with a garment. You can donate it, you can sell it, or if it's too worn out, there are multiple ways you can upcycle it, depending on what it is. There are multiple books on the subject, there are lots of YouTube tutorials, I'm sure, but basically you can turn it into other things. One of the things I love turning my completely worn out clothes into is 
dish towels. I did this around a year and a half ago when I went through my first uh, eco-conscious purge of my closet and I turned all of the old, really, really worn out articles of clothing into just household towels. And that actually ended up replacing paper towels altogether. I have not used paper towels since. I'll be honest, do they clean as well as paper towels? No, but am I killing trees? No. So that's a win-win to me. Well, that was it for my tips and tricks. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Have a happy holiday season if you're watching this during the holidays. From my eco-conscious garden trellis Christmas tree to you, happy holidays. Please don't cut down a Christmas tree if you don't have to. Bye guys.